The light adjustable lens, the Kalun Vision lens, is a remarkable advance for the correction of pre-existing sphere and astigmatism at the time of cataract surgery. This innovative concept is based on the use for the optic of the lens of a polymer that is not completely polymerized before surgery and which polymerization will be modified with UV light once the lens is in place within the eye. The special control of the uh, delivery of the UV light during the adjustment process makes it possible to change very precisely the optical geometry of the lens after the surgery is done. During the cataract surgery, the lens which is put in place is aimed to correct uh, the ametropia and leave a slight hyperopic correction. After the surgery, the adjustment procedure with the UV light can correct up to two diopters of myopia or hyperopia and or two diopters of astigmatism. In addition, the asphericity of the lens can be tuned up up to one microns of asphericity to improve the depth of focus and attempt to correct presbyopia. Thanks to the adjustment of the lens, residual cylindrical error can be corrected with great accuracy. In most cases, this accuracy is better than a quarter of diopters of sphere and or cylinder for 90% of the cases. These results are remarkable when compared to the outcome of toric intraocular lenses for which only 40 to 50% of cases have a residual refractive error less than a quarter or half a diopter, depending on the series. In the following clinical case, the preoperative refraction was plus four, minus three diopters at 20 degrees, and the visual acuity was four tenths. After the surgery and before the adjustment procedure, the residual astigmatism was minus one diopter 25 at 50 degrees in the subjective refraction. After two adjustment sessions, the final correction is minus 0.50 diopters of sphere, which is exactly what uh, the, we intended to get in this patient in order to uh, get a better intermediate vision. These graphs demonstrate that in the recent uh, studies of this uh, adjustable uh, lens, nearly 95% uh, of the patients are within plus or minus half a diopters of the interrefractive goal. This diagram shows that the correction of the cylinder before and after the adjustment procedure is truly remarkable. The ultimate goal of the refractive surgery of cataract is to compensate for presbyopia. For many years, surgeons have used the monovision system where one eye is dedicated to distance vision while the other one, the non-dominant eye, has a better near vision uncorrected. Patients are very satisfied with monovision providing that the difference between the two eyes does not exceed 1.5 diopters to preserve a stereoscopy as much as can be. The outcome of monovision is all the more satisfactory as a perfect correction of the dominant eye for distance vision is achieved and when patients have been able to simulate the vision they will have using contact lenses before the surgery.